Hi everyone, welcome to your daily dose at home. My name is Laura and I work in the education department here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we're talking about palace cats. We got to learn a little bit more about Knox and Pema, our two wonderful palaces cats. And we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and we're gonna talk about scent marking and Fleming face. Now, the reason that these are important factors to consider for cats, not just the palace cats, but any other cats that are solitary and that are found in the wild over really, really big home ranges. So where the palace cats are found, Central Asia, they can be in terrains that get crazy high elevations, so up to 5,000 meters, and they're in all sorts of different burrows and rocky areas. So living alone, when it's time to find a mate, you have to be able to put out signals and put out messages, and those have to be picked up in turn by other members of your species. So that's where scent marking comes in. Scent marking is probably what you're picturing when you see dogs sniffing as you go along on a walk. So it's a combination of urine and pheromones and sometimes other proteins. And the reason that it's so important, as we talked about for these solitary animals, is there's a ton of information in that scent, but they have to be able to decode it. And one of the ways that they do that in the terms of cats and a number of other species is by doing something called a Fleming face. So I'm gonna show you what looks like kind of a funny face, but it's a really important one. And you can try practicing at home as well. So what a Fleming face involves is curling up your lips and trying to close your nostrils as best you can. It's a little bit hard, I'm, I'm, I'm so-so in the Fleming world. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and inhale as much as you can of the scent, not through your nose, but through the inside of your mouth. So palace cats, like other big cats, like tigers, even animals like horses and cows, you'll see them doing it as well have something called a Jacobson's organ. And that's an organ just inside the roof of their mouth. And that gives them extra information about the smells and it gives them lots of details that we wouldn't be able to pick up on with just our regular nose. So let's try it together. I think I got a few messages. Let me try it once more. It's really hard to close your nostrils, but they do it very effectively and they can pick up on all that information. So in the cat's case, it'll tell them whether or not the scent that they're smelling came from a male or a female and whether or not they were here recently or a long time ago. And the reason, as we said, that that's so important is when you're a solitary animal, you have to have different ways of communicating in order to find a mate. So when you've got a reproductive season that's very, very short, the female palace cat is only in estrus 24 to 36 hours. That's a tiny, tiny window. You gotta make sure that those messages are clear and concise and that they're being found by other members of your species. And today's take home activity, in addition to you practicing your Fleming faces, we've got some really fun puzzles because there's a great number of things that are really fun about our palace cats and we think you'll enjoy them as well. So thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.